Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and in this video, we're gonna break down the Bell Race Star Flex DLX helmet available at Revzilla.com. So the helmet you're gonna see in front of me is the new Race Star Flex DLX, and this is gonna be the new top of the line helmet from Bell. This is gonna sit around the $700 price change. So we're not seeing a change in the price, but we're seeing a dramatic change in really what you're getting out of this helmet. So as we walk through, what I wanna do are just kind of hit the basic features, but then really dive into the changes of what makes this helmet so much more exciting than its predecessor. So 3K carbon. So it is now gonna be a lightweight carbon shell. They've changed the design of the carbon itself. It's now gonna be a revision to the, the, the pregnation process of the carbon, the way that it's, it's pre-pregged. And you're gonna see they actually kind of changed the thickness of the shell in certain places, and they reinforced the thickness where they needed it, and they slimmed down a little bit of the thickness where they didn't need it. They were able to shave five ounces off of this helmet when we threw the medium on the scale. So it's three pounds, five ounces in a medium, so extremely lightweight race helmet at this stage in the game. Five shell sizes, six EPS liners. So each of the sizes will get a different shell except for the extra small and small shell size. That will share one shell, but you are looking at five individual shell sizes, six EPS liners, DOT Snell rated, and it's gonna be an intermediate oval head shape. So they revised the internal shape of this to give you a little more room up front. The helmet fits 100% better, in my personal opinion, um, than the previous version. So a little bit longer front to back, narrow down the side of the head. This is gonna work for the majority of riders in the American market. And I say in my opinion, um, I used one of these pretty extensively when testing the Indian FTR 1200, and I was thoroughly impressed. Um, I've used limited bell helmets in the past because they just didn't really work for me from a fitment standpoint. Uh, I found them to be a little bit on the heavier side for what you were getting. This changes all that. Again, very lightweight, fits perfectly, and they've just done so many little tweaks that really showcase what Bell is doing now from a helmet design standpoint. And they're really taking an innovative approach and they're changing their helmets in a way that we really haven't seen a lot of other manufacturers falling suit with. So for example, this is gonna have the Flex in the name. That means it's gonna be part of the Flex technology from Bell. This is something we saw them introduce about three, four years ago. Instead of just using a regular EPS liner, you're gonna see as we break down the inside, there's three different layers to it. The other thing you'll notice here is that you now have the Pro Tint Shield included with this. So this is gonna be a actual shield that will change tint based on whether it's light or dark out, and it does it relatively easy and relatively quickly. Now, the one thing to note here is that it's not gonna have a pin lock face shield included with this. So just keep that in mind but you are getting that pro tint, which is right around the $150 mark if you were to buy it separately, and that's included with no price increase to the helmet. Now getting this shell off or getting the visor off, you simply just push the button in, it slides right off, you then line that right back up, push it in, and then it just clicks right back into place. So it's really an easy system to use. The vents on this work really well. You've got really clear actuation for the vents and the ventilation actually works. So you're gonna have a chin vent, you're then gonna have a switch for the brow vent, you're gonna have a vent up top at the, at the chimney, and then you are gonna have a active vent at the back. So you're not just gonna have that passive airflow, you can actually open that up or close that to allow air to flow through. Now, like I said earlier, you are gonna see the shell design has actually changed. They've increased that thickness and decreased it in certain areas, and it really helps to add to the sporty look. If you look at this helmet, you can see where you get these really cool ridge profiles that work across the top. The carbon fiber looks absolutely fantastic. You know, a lot of times when you're looking at the carbon fiber for these helmets, you can see little imperfections. I think that Bell did a really great job from a fit and finish standpoint. Let's take a look at the inside. Just because I do want to break down what we're seeing from, uh, from the inside of this, you are going to have that magnetic latch. So once you go through the double D-ring, instead of having to worry about finding that little red snap that sits on most helmets, this just kind of locks you into place and it, uh, it secures your extra strap length. But again, regular double D-rings there. Pulling the cheek pads out, they are the magnetic cheek pads. These work fantastically. If you've never used these before, they stay in place. But when you want to go ahead and throw in a comm system um, or just kind of take these out to clean them, Easy in, easy out, they really find their place easily. Now I say comm system, you'll notice if you look at the inside of this, there's a little rubber pad in there now, so you're now getting speaker cutouts. This is in addition to the old previous version. You can pull that out. If you're not using it, leave those in. Uh, it works really well to just kind of leave those in. If you are gonna put a comm system in, make sure you pull those out before you put the speakers in, otherwise those speakers are gonna sit really uncomfortably against your ears. But if you pull those out first, speakers pop right into place. 
So again, cheek pads, super simple. The, uh, the design of the cheek pads have actually been changed. One of the complaints with the old cheek pads was that it was too firm, too uncomfortable. So Bell's now using a dual density foam, softer foam at the top that's actually sitting against your face, and then a thicker, firmer foam that sits at the base. So it's again, dual density, changes the comfort profile. You're still gonna have the cool jade design to the inside of this, so it really feels cool to the touch. Helps to wick sweat away, antimicrobial. And then pulling out the, uh, the main liner, we can get a closer look at that three-layered flex system. So you got just a regular snap and liner, but again, done in that cool jade design. And if I were to make any recommendation, I would probably just kind of cut this tab off if I owned the helmet. But again, that's where you're gonna see the, uh, the sizing information and all the you know, stuff that you'd want to make sure that you get the right size when you pull it out of the box. Pulling this out, really innovative design. They don't run the snaps all the way across the top. You just have these two snaps that kind of sit into play there. And then same thing with the back, you just got two snaps. So there's nothing that's pushing undue pressure against your forehead. Now, taking a look at the inside of this. So what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a little bit, you can see the red poking through. So the red on this would be the EPP, that's your mid layer. Um, so really you're gonna have three different layers to the flex. The outside layer is for your high speed impacts, that's your EPS. That red that you'll see poking through in there, that's gonna be your EPP, that's your mid speed protection layer. And then the black that's gonna sit on the inside that's gonna be right against your head, that's your EPO. So you have three different layers of the actual shell itself. And what that's gonna do is it gives you protection from different speed impacts, high speed, mid speed, and low speed. What really scientists have been discovering is that uh, a lot of impacts that are giving concussions are actually low speed impacts, and you need a more absorbent layer um, closer to your head to protect against that. So this is the system that Bell has designed, and you're actually getting a little bit of a rotational protection as well. So the three areas where you really wanna kinda be covered in all your bases, high, mid, and then low speed, as well as rotation. So really, when they introduced that system three, four years ago, it was a huge uh, value add to pretty much all the Bell helmets that had it. It was something we really hadn't seen before, and they're just kind of perfecting and carrying that process on. And again, with all the changes that you're seeing to the Bell Race Star Flex DLX, you're not gonna see a price increase. So in my opinion, a really fantastic iteration of this helmet from Bell. Um, moving forward, I would be really interested to see what they could come up with next because Bell has been such an innovative player in the helmet world, and this is just that next step in the process. So again, I was really excited with what we're seeing from this, and it's really hard to complain about all the extra features you're getting, less weight, nicer helmet, for the same amount of money. So for those of you out there that you know want more information from other riders that are also out there currently using this helmet, you can always click the info button on uh, the desktop or mobile device that you're watching this on. You can read other rider reviews from folks that are currently using this helmet. And if you have questions as to which helmet is right for you and your riding style, you can reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot an email over to cs at revzilla.com. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the Bell Race Star Flex DLX. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.